Someone go ahead and put those hands together for Jesus. Go ahead and give those hands together for Jesus. Put those hands together for Jesus. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. Blessed be your name, our Father. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 15. Glory to God. Ephesians 1, 15. Therefore, I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all the saints, do not cease to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers. 17. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give to you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. The eyes of of your understanding being enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints glory to God it's still our year of great light glory to God how many of you are excited about that glory to God I want us to pray this morning for access to light as God's word comes for every segment of um, the service this morning, I want us to pray for access to light. The eyes of our understanding. The Bible calls it being enlightened. Present continuous. Praise God. That the eyes of our understanding will be enlightened this morning. In the name of Jesus, that we have precision, we have accuracy and definitiveness into God's word this morning. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead and just give God praise. Give God praise. Father, we thank you. The Bible says in John 11, 9, He that walketh by the day stumbleth not, because he seeth the light of the world. But he that walketh by the night stumbleth, because he does not see the light of the world. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you praise. We thank you for a new day. We thank you for access to light. The Bible says, this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad. We thank you. We give you praise for a new day that you have brought us into through the death, burial, and the resurrection of Jesus. We thank you for bringing us into a day, into a new day. We thank you for new possibilities this morning. We thank you for ordering our steps into your word. We we thank you father we give you praise thank you for a mighty move of your spirit this morning in the name of jesus we bless your name our father go ahead and give god praise give god praise for all transfer the man of god this morning in the name of jesus we thank you father we thank you for all the gifts of the spirit making manifest in this service this morning in the name of Jesus. We thank you for your word in season to him that is weary. We thank you our father. We give you praise that at the end of this meeting this morning, we thank you for an outburst of joy in this atmosphere to the glory of your name. Thank you our father. We give you praise in Jesus matchless name. We give thanks. Can you go ahead and give God praise this morning? Give God a shout. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, celebrate Jesus more and more. Give God a shout of praise. 
Come on, tell somebody, 2024 is our year of the great light. Hallelujah. So we've come to dance and celebrate Jesus this morning. Hallelujah. The Lord our God is King of Israel. The Lord our God is mighty. He's full of grace and mercy. He's given us His Son Emmanuel. I told me for all I said, I give to set us free.
Thank you for joining us on today's service. Our facility is built on a global standard and a lot goes into maintaining it. Join me as we take a quick tour around the facility. The main auditorium, it takes hours and a team of three people to properly clean this up. When we clean, 
we find gums stuck on the chairs and patches of liquid on the rug. So here is how you can make things easy. Just your feet as to enter the hall. No food and drinks allowed in the hall. Chewing of gum is highly prohibited. We have waste bin available in the foyer, kindly dispose trash appropriately. There is a male and female restroom. There is also a family toilet where you can change your baby's diapers. We encourage you to use the toilet properly so as to keep our hygiene standards. Over here, we have a nursing mother room where you can feed your babies and also follow the service while doing so. Dispensers with drinking water are conveniently placed throughout the hallway. Kindly turn off all mobile devices during service and the service team are available for any inquiries and directions. Thank you. Have a blessed service. Hallelujah. Good morning, church. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 1, it says, Arise and shine, for your light has come. I want you to declare to your neighbor this morning. Say, Arise and shine, for your light has come. We're going to be declaring that this morning. Be blessed as you listen.
you are excited that this is your testimony. I don't care what the doctors have said to you. I don't care what you've heard in the news. I want to declare to you, my Bible says that when there is a casting down, for you there is a lifting up. Who is he that commanded a thing when the Lord has not commanded it? Let me tell you what the Lord has commanded. He said you will flourish even in hard times. He said the righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Wherever the soul of your feet shall tread upon, he has given to you to possess. Whatsoever your soul, wherever your soul enters, you have your possession. Come on, declare it this morning. Begin to declare what the Lord has said to you. I am. Sing hallelujah. I am. Come on, declare it to your neighbor. Sing hallelujah. Situations may come true. Tribulations may come just to end you. But when they turn you to the left and the right, they realize that you are the light. When my brothers look at me and reject me, when my sisters look at me and despise me, they realize that I'm standing strong. Cause I know it won't be. Listen to it again. Situations may come to challenge you. Tribulations may come just to end you But when they turn you to the left and the right They realize that you are the light When your brothers look at you and reject you When your sisters look at you and despise you They realize that you're standing strong Cause you know it won't be long Hallelujah Declare it this morning. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. I want to hear you say this morning. Say, Hallelujah. Prosperity in adversity. Let me hear you say it. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on, let me hear you. Hallelujah. Oh, 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 oh. Hallelujah. Come on, give the Lord a shout. Praise. Hallelujah. Come on, celebrate the redeem of grace. God bless you, redeem of grace. Hallelujah. Praise God. Help me welcome your neighbor to the left and to the right. Tell them you're welcome to God's presence to the first Sunday in the year 2024. Our year of... I can't hear you. Our year of... If you are happy that God has brought you to the year of great light, come on, show it in your shout, in your clapping. Give him God glory for the first Sunday. And we know we are going to see the last in the name of Jesus. Because in his light, we shall see light. The light is shining on our paths. Mighty discoveries are made in this year, 2024. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Please be seated in his presence. You know, pastor said on a Friday, hallelujah, that, you know, when light shines, that's where you can discover certain things. 
the things have been there for long, but when light just shines, you see that diamond glitters towards you. But if there's no light, the glittering will not be seen. That's why I believe that this year there will be mighty discoveries in the name of Jesus. Mighty discovery. Ideas will be batted in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Welcome to Graceview Christian Center. In this place, favor overcomes labor. Grace supersedes sweat and mercy triumphs over judgment. Please, let's listen to the following announcements. We'll be having a very important leadership meeting this Saturday by 9 a.m. And the people expected to be in this meeting are the pastoral staff, all pastoral staff, we are expected to be there. All our HOTs and assistant HOTs of all our teams, you are also expected to be there. All the leadership of Elders Forum and Dickens Forum, you are also expected to be in that meeting. And also all leaders of um, epignosis, because we are having this meeting for the first time. There will be an amalgamation of great minds. Amen. Why did I say great man? Because I know that when the head is correct, the body will be intact. So all of us will be meeting from all the four churches, Guagualada, Zoe Arena, Epignosis, and of course, the headquarters. So all the leadership will be gathering here on Saturday, the 13th of January at the Alpha Hall by 9 a.m. Let's not forget leaders. Let's come on time. 9 a.m. is the time. All leaders of uh, of uh, Dickens Board, Elders Board, HOTs, Assistant HOTs, all pastoral staffs, all directors, Assistant Directors of Epignosis, all of us are expected to be in this uh, meeting. And of course, the next Saturday, which is the 20th, all the workers of these great churches will be meeting for our first mega workers training. Hallelujah. I thought someone is clapping to have a meeting with your brother from another church. Come on, celebrate Jesus for that. So all workers, please, let's not forget, I believe whole day has finished by now. People should have returned by then. So the time is 9 a.m. Everybody is expected to be seated by 8.45. Praise God. Epignosis, Guagalada, Zoe, Arena, and of course the headquarters, all the workers of all these churches will be meeting on the 20th of January, 2024. Of course, there will be service next Sunday, 9 a.m., and a one-hour service at Epignosis, 7.45 to 8.45. Is still working with great fire. Praise God. Hallelujah. So I want to encourage you to invite your loved one. Uh, this year, let's make it a duty to ensure that we tell someone about Jesus. Tell someone about your church. Let's invite them. The harvest is truly ripe, But we believe God that we are among the laborers to bring them in, in Jesus' name. Good news. <laughs> Teenagers, holiday is finished this Sunday. Next Sunday, you'll be meeting at your hall. So, children's church, teenagers, you resume at your own facility. From next Sunday, you evacuate the main church. Hallelujah. So, please, all our uh, teachers of the children's church, let's begin to make plans to ensure that things run smoothly from next uh, Sunday. God bless you all. If there's any other announcement, we'll surely let you know before the year, uh, not before the year, before the service closes. Let's receive the rhythm of grace for our hymn. As you are climbing up, sorry, I, as I saw his face, I remember he mentioned to me, please, if you want to join the rhythm of grace, uh, that's the people who have just blessed us and they are going to bless us again. Please, after the service, just meet them uh, after the service. The audition will come up on the 20th. So you have a good voice like mine. Please just meet them. They will audition you on the 20th. Praise God. Hallelujah. Okay, let's go ahead. Hallelujah. <laughs> May we rise up to our feet as we take our hymn. Thank you, Lord, for the light. Yes. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. May the glorious light of the gospel shine in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. So, Father, we thank you this morning for that great light. Thank you for the privilege of being called saints in the light. We thank you. For you have delivered us from the authority and power of darkness. And you have translated us already to the kingdom of your dear son. The kingdom of light. We give you praise, Lord. So this morning we receive the fullness of what you have in store for us. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you for the anointing to teach and to preach. Let somebody hear something that will bless, that will lift, that will establish, and that will direct them. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Let's celebrate God, everybody. Hallelujah. 
Okay, God bless you, Aruji. Hallelujah. Please greet your neighbor warmly as you take your seat. Greet, greet them warmly. Tell them we are happy to see them. Hallelujah. Okay, please tell those who are outside to come in. Hallelujah. Okay. Hallelujah. It's the first Sunday of the year. We are still trying to get into the groove. But don't worry, I'm sure by next week we'll all be in the real groove. Everybody still like when they finished praise worship this morning, when Allah finished singing. You know, normally people will say, whoo, whoo, whoo. Everybody, everybody just say, mm. it's like you are relieved to finish. You know, so it's first Sunday of the year. We trust God that we will all catch the groove as the year goes on. Glory be to God forevermore. Yeah. Try not to sleep. You know, just try and be up. And then if you know your children are restless, uh, you're all likely to be restless. Move, uh, just sit very close to the door. Not that the child start crying. You now carry the child from one end of the church to the other. Just sit close to the exit. So, as he cries, just throw the baby outside. Then you go and meet. <laughs> go and meet the baby outside. Okay, let's go. Praise God. Hallelujah. I want to share something briefly with you, so that we can all go home. Because the way you are looking at me is that you want to go home. Even me this morning they asked me. He said, Pastor T, you want to take tea? I said, No. I want to go home. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I've already preached at epignosis and we had a great time already. So, uh, so uh, we just do what we can do here and then get ready to go. So I'm sharing a, t- a message with you. I titled "Sources of Light." Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you know it's our year of great light, right? Hallelujah. And may you walk in light. Amen. May you walk in the light. In the name of Jesus Christ. You know, I feel like being, I feel like just a little bit of sidetrack this morning. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of sidetrack. Just a little bit. You know, please go to Colossians chapter 1. Just a little bit. Just want to make a little comment and then we quickly come back to what we have to read. Colossians chapter 1 verse 13. Please, all the software is working. We can't see scriptures anywhere. Please help us walk in the light <laughs> Colossians who is there oh no I mean, Paul is not in church okay verse 13 thank you they got it finally got it right we just just this is just a little sidetrack okay just a little the Bible says what he has delivered us what from the kingdom of darkness he has delivered us all from the power of darkness and conveyed us what into the kingdom of the son of his Lord. Tell your neighbor whether you know it or not, you have been delivered from the kingdom of darkness. Whether you walk in it or not, it doesn't change the fact. You have been delivered. Hallelujah. You know, I need to read this place for some of you. Because when we say we enjoy great light, some of you, some of you still exhort things like dreams higher than the word of God. You have a little dream. You lose your peace. You lose your rest. You begin to run around. Forget it. Satan gives dreams too. Are you hearing me? Satan gives dreams too. Don't let those operations of the kingdom of darkness stop you. I don't know where I have, I just took this little sidetrack. That's not my note at all. Because some of you right now, all that is said to you and you are losing your peace and you are restless because you ate in the night. See, after I ate in the night, since that day, that's why they feel something under my chest like this. Look, are you here? Let me go and drink good coffee. You won't feel it again. Look, forget all those things. He has delivered us from the power of darkness. Let, tell yourself that he has delivered me from the power of darkness. <laughs> Hallelujah. 
let this reality be in you. I see a lot of Christians. Ah, he said, you know what? I know Salon Gugeda. The night before, I had a dream. I had a dream. Because as we stood in that line, as he won't reach my tongue, now he, the people when they do interview, carry their things, then go. They say they don't do interview again. So with that, because devil has already programmed you in the night for failure in the day. So it's left for you. So I know, I know say that boy no go marry me because I see myself we are white. Then as we stand before Pastor T, then we now, be, now begin look, begin look. We waited, they waited, oh, now the man no show. The man no show. So from that dream, now I know say that marriage no go work. The man no go come. Stop that nonsense. Devil is programming you in the night for failure in the day. Okay. Is somebody hearing me right now? In the midst of all this, your so called dreams, what did the Bible say? Are you hearing me? Look, I've never, never in my entire life, let me sit here, ha, in my entire life. Being seated in the kingdom of God, far above principalities, Abi, we are where we are seated. Is that not what the Bible says? No, put your hand in that one. I don't know why I'm going this way this morning, but I will say, come back to what I'm going to say. Go back to the book of Ephesians, chapter 1. We come back to this one. The Bible says, He has conveyed us to the kingdom of his, the Son of His Lord, or to the kingdom of His dear Son. He has conveyed us there. Where are we? We are in the kingdom of where? Of His Son. I will still come back to what I came to teach. If I feel like going back there, glory be to God forevermore. Go to verse 17. Go to verse 17. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 17. The Bible says we pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the, the, the Father of glory, may give all, give all the spirit of wisdom and revelation and knowledge of himself. Go on. That the eyes of our understanding be enlightened. That you may know what is the hope of your calling and what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. Go on. And what, what? is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe according to the working of his mighty power. We look at the next line, which he walked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him where? At his hand, hand where? In heavenly places. Where Bible says, if Bible says we have come to the kingdom of his son, where is his son seated? He's seated where? In heavenly places at his right hand. And in case we are doubting, where is that place? Bible says in verse 21, that place is far above what? All principality, all power, all mind, all dominion. Every name that is named, not only in this age, but that which is to come. Say amen to that. That is where he has put us. Look, sometimes your head may not come to this reality. It does not change the reality. We have been located far above principalities. Listen, brothers and sisters. The Bible says we wrestle against, not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world. Right? But the Bible says, in case you don't understand your position against your enemy, he has located you far above. Not above. Far above. I remember when we were young, you know, I didn't go to kind of luxury primary school. You guys went. So we had these local boys who challenged others and beat others up. And then you will now go and challenge them. One of my friends told another friend, because me, I didn't, I didn't fight. I wasn't part of the fighting group. There were people that could fight. I remember a young boy called Toye Udeja. Fantastic fighter. There were many guys. One boy called Omole. Very fast. His bow is like iron. Many of them, good fighters. They were great fighters. I remember them. Because the way we entertain ourselves is not through, uh, we entertain ourselves through fighting. We clear seat. <laughs> so anybody that challenge you now fight. So there's one of my guys, a senior to me, he comes to our church once in a while. Because he lives not too far. So he comes here. He calls me, Tunde, ah, I want to share God. That is God, God has worked on you a lot. He used to come here. <laughs> Crazy guy like that. He was a good fighter. So one day, I don't know what happened to another guy. I know this guy. He came from a very rich home. This, this point we call Asor, this butter children. Look well fed. Uh -huh, you know, 
those, if you see those daughter shake, so called children, you know. <laughs> they look very assor. I don't know what came on him. He went and challenged this guy. But that benga, hey. That benga begged him that no, you can't do this. I come to your house, I eat. No, 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 please. Don't do this. He said, no, no, no. Your grand is too much in this school. And that one said, no, you don't understand. We cannot fight. Don't challenge me. He refused. When the fight finally happened, ah, it was, it was bad. Every punch that Benga threw, blood came out. The Shua. Pa! Shua. Look. I, it, the fight didn't last long, but the beating was severe. <laughs> but that man had to remove his own uniform to clean the blood. He said, but now he not started crying. I told you that I don't want to fight you. I told you. Look at what you have allowed me to do to you now. I told you I'm going to something he said. I told you, okay, let's see number. You understand right now that you are too small for me to fight. You are just too small for this fight to occur. He has exalted us far above principalities, above powers. They are too small for this fight to occur. They are opponent. Nevertheless, they are too small. That I had to read this place for you. We read, no, go back, go back to Ephesians, Ephesians chapter one. Far above principality and power and everything. Please let us look at it this way. Let us let us say you are inside a BA flight going to London or Lufthansa going to Germany, whatever. And then they said that they are ferocious lion over or bad desert snakes as we are crossing the Sahara to, to, you know, to Europe. And inside the plane, you do your leg like this. <laughs> and they said they are baby rats, they are snakes, they are lions. Okay, inside the plane, you do your leg like this. That is a sign that you don't know where you are. You are far above. I needed to let you understand our brothers and sisters. All these threats that you run away from. Somebody will look at you in the office and say, now me and you in this office. Say, no, be you and me, oh, now you and Jesus. Because the greater one lives on inside of me. No, be you and me, now you and Jesus in this office. You cannot prevail against me. Glory be to God forevermore. Because we are being translated from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of his son, the kingdom of light. Glory be to God forevermore. Are there are no places right now. There was an earthquake in Japan earlier in the week, right? Are you are we shaking Nigeria? Because it, it, it happened in another kingdom. It's not here. Let whatever is happening in their kingdom, let it happen in their kingdom. Please, devil uses all those things like dreams. All those things to terrify people. As, you know, we are eating. And then before I got there, the food finished. So Getting angry, sorry. Don't, don't no, no, no. <laughs> 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 okay, I'm the three pieces. So. Yeah. <laughs> they said the food finished, and you are worried. It's like in, uh, uh, things will not work out. Whose food? food. Whose food? No, who's food? Don't do so, some of you. Because I know you. Because what pastor has said privately, you will still come and be asking for counsel in the, day, in the night. Don't ask me to be counsel, I've told you. Because some of you, some of you, some of you are running around, around about right now. The absolution that has been provided in the scriptures. But you won't read. And when somebody is explaining to you, you just, you just came to church to mark register. You just sit like that. Pretend as you are hearing you just go like a potato. Look, you better wake up. This year is a different year. 
If you, if you are not awake, stay at home. If you come to church, open your eyes. It's spiritual and discipline and absent mind then that makes a man to sleep in church. You know, far above. I want to beg every one of you. Say food finished. Whose food? The God that we serve. He resources never finishes. Bible says of his fullness we have received one grace after another grace. One blessing after another blessing. Whatever you saw in the dream, that one can finish. But where we tap from, it cannot finish. These are the realities of the kingdom where we live. Glory be to God forevermore. Don't let us, I had a dream. I saw myself dead. And then you are, you, you are worried. Hey, I, I had a dream. But nobody, nobody said you had to talk to like this. Are you not the one talking to me like this? You cannot die. Oh. Because when you take that dream and you compare it with the word of God that says with long life will I satisfy you, I'll show you my, I'll show you my salvation. So, I, I don't know why all this is. Go to Genesis chapter 15 verse 15. I'll come back to what I came to teach today. Go to Genesis 50, 15. I want us to connect with this scripture. I want to read somewhere for you right now. Genesis 15, 15. And I will leave off this subject matter. Co- talking about longevity. Say, look at what he says. Now as for you. Say as for me. He says, now as for you. You shall go to your fathers in peace. Say amen to that. Amen. That means number one. Violent death is taken out of the way first. We are not going to die violently. Accident, plane crash, assassination, that will not occur. We are going to die what? Peacefully. You will go to your father's world in peace. Look at the next line. Look at the next line. And you shall be buried at a good old age. There are shafts, there are wits. Anything that is outside the word of God takes it as a shaft. Anything that is the word of God, take it as the wit. Hey, this dream, that dream, shaft. A man of God saw me, I said, ah, these days, crazy people all over the place. You go in Wusay Market, a man of God, a man, a man of, not a man of God, a man will walk to you. Say, I saw something. Slap them. <laughs> Let fight break out. Say, what happened? Say, he said he saw something. What did he see? You know why? All those things, I saw something, I had a dream, they are programming your mind. And if there's an expectation, that will be a performance. Can I say this to you, brothers and sisters? Can I beg you with something? Because if you really want to have peace in your life, the word of God must be reaching you. Because what a lot of people are looking for is deception. Someone that will pray for you, that will give you water, that will betray and catch you from your life. Let me warn you. Without the word of God on the inside of you, the substance. Look, when Satan came to Jesus, did he say, Don't, are you not aware that I am anointed of God? If he too, too, too Satan, it is written. Your hiding place is, 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 is written. It's what God has written that is your hiding place. Any other protection outside what is written cannot fully protect you. Okay. Am I getting across to somebody here this morning? How did I get to know Genesis 15, 15? I read. God doesn't wake me up and say, look at this scripture. You will read it. You will search. When you search, you will find out. Don't let Instagram ruin your life. Don't let Facebook ruin your life. Get busy this year in the word of God. Hallelujah. If it's about dreams, I have had dreams. But in the light of the word of God, let God be true. Let every man be what? A liar. That's how to live your life. Whatever anybody has said, what does the word say? For he has delivered us from the kingdom of darkness and taken us to the kingdom of his son. Let that dwell in you. Glory be to God forevermore. All these ones that, you know, something is happening in the world, you allow it to trouble you and you are so fearful and you are so afraid, let it stop. We operate under a different kingdom. Hallelujah. 
Tell your neighbor in the name of Jesus. May this light dawn on you that you dwell in the kingdom of light. Hallelujah. Some of you, God will wake you up in the night. Let me show you something. That's so cool. It's so cool. God will wake somebody up in the night eh, and give them a scripture. They will just read, the, hey, this is good. They will fall asleep. Then they will have, the same man will have a dream. He will say, see snake chasing him. He wake up. Oh, Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Fire in this house. Hey, anywhere. Where snake they hide? Any snake in my office, in my family. Hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. I match you. I match you. I match you. I thought when God showed you the word, according to the prophecy, you need to war with the prophecy. So it took devil to get you to pray. Can't you see you don't know God? Some things you just, you, you, you saw a, a snake, you say, snake in a dream, if you are the real snake, come out now, let us see. You go to bed. For he has given us power to treat us snake and scorpions and over every power of the enemy and nothing shall be enemies hurt When you dwell in the light, you will go to bed. So if you took a dream of a snake to get you to pray, you don't know God. You don't know God. So you ought to take you the word to know God. Look at, look at to, to pray. Look at what the Bible says. Actually says. Look at what the Bible says. If you abide in me, John chapter fifteen verse seven. If you abide in me and my word abide in you, you shall what ask. Go to fifteen seven. Look at what it says. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will what ask what you desire. What that means? What what propels a man to ask is the word abiding in you. What's the word goes in you? You will ask. It's not a dream that makes a man to pray. It's the word abiding in a man that makes a man to do what? To pray. Because in prayer, what God looks out for is say, I watch over my word to perform it. Whatever we ask according to his will, that is what makes prayer effective. Not your dream. You know why, my sister, you know why, they are not re- why they are reacting so low? Because I got all of them. They are looking for a, pa- a pastor that is a spiritualist, not a teacher. Some of you, some of the places you go, they are spiritual. You go to spiritual houses, not to prayer, not to, not to church. Oh, this morning I had an encounter. I see people. I see blood. Uh, I, don't, I, I didn't see blood, but I see glory. Are you here? I see the light of God. Are you hearing me? I see the blood of Jesus working on our behalf. Because the Bible says if we abide in the light, as he is in light, the Bible says the blood of his son cleanses us from all sins. Glory be to God forevermore. Let me tell you, fear is an instrument of control. For all these pastors that put fear in your heart, it's an instrument of control. Let me rest my case for part one this morning. Hallelujah. I just want to challenge you. Because I know a lot of people, what it takes for, for your joy that you receive on the Sunday morning to be ruined is for you to have a dream. One stupid dream like that, he just wake up, Kai. Why, when has dream become stronger than the word of God? And, and, and may I ask you, brothers and sisters, may I ask you, of all the dreams you have been having, what is the percentage of fulfillment? To be you saw yourself in London, you are seeing Abuja. <laughs> did, you, did, did you see that you are sworn in as governor of your state? Even the governor of your area, you are not. So of all those dreams you have been having, none of them has come to pass. Why are you so afraid of this one now? Remember last time you saw someone that died? The person just said, they are doing well. I remember one of my friends who came to me, there was a president that just left. He said, no, the man will not last for that long. He said, well, he said I saw it in the dream. I saw he died in the dream. The man finished eight years. The only thing that improved during the man's regime was his head. Nothing improved. Economy didn't improve. Security didn't improve, but his health improved. <laughs> but there were pastors that saw dreams that the man died. There were pastors that prophesied that the man would bet he didn't come to pass. Brothers and sisters, let us stop all this thing. You go on the internet. What is the word of God for the year? Yeah, what does the pastor so, so, so say? What did the word say? Stop ruining your life. Go for the authentic things. You know why, why, why they are not laughing, sir? You know why? You know why? I got a lot of them. I got all of them. And, and they'll be deceiving you. Somebody will give 25 prophecies. At least two will come to pass. Even me, I can guess. 
Let me, number one, Nada will not be stable for some time. <laughs> ah, ah, this, ah, Join the African Nations Cup, an African nation will win the cup. <laughs> Why not the European nation? Why? They, they play with the Italian. Ah, ah. Like somebody said the last time, he said the next president after Buhari, he said what he saw is that the man is not, will not be as tall as the former president. With Buhari height, who will be tall like I say, hey, the man they see, you are a fool. <laughs> Glory be to God forever, man. Let God be true. Let a man be what? A lie. I beg you. Let's focus on the word. What does the word say? All these spiritual experiences, please wake Mr. Eno up. Yeah. Uh-huh. God bless you. This is how it's going. Hallelujah. So, let's come back. I finished the provocation. Let's go back to the word of God now. Hallelujah. Somebody says, Pastor T, why are you passionate? Why are you like this? I have, look, I have seen too many Christians not live to their potential because the devil has deceived them. Some of you up till now, when you wake up in the morning, you are going and you hit your left leg. Ah, say the good day will not be good. <laughs> so why don't you go back there and hit your right leg? <laughs> it's a simple thing. Say that you hit your right leg. Don't go back there and hit the right leg. Say today will be good. Let's go. You know why I said so? This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad. In. And I pray for you, may things of joy and may things of gladness happen in your life. Every day of your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Bible says, Blessed be the Lord who daily loaded us with what we benefit every day. So, what has hitting your left leg got to do with the word of God? Why are we so traditional? We call it Christianity. Don't you know who told about the son has set free is free indeed? Free from aggression, free from religion, free from harassment of Satan. You greet somebody didn't answer you. He's having a bad day. He has nothing to do with your destiny. Yes. Glory be to God forever, mom. Because I have said the Lord always before me. Yes. And because he lives at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Say amen to that. Yes. Glory be to God forever, man. So, having said all that, I've spent 75% of my time. I have 40 minutes to talk to you this morning. 30 minutes is gone. So, now, we will start afresh. Hallelujah. When you come to church, hear the word of God. Are you hearing it? I am tired of all these things. We've programmed time, everybody. Church are finished. Nobody's changing. Life is not transformed. We are just following our, our mechanics and our techniques. And I'll be fast. I don't intend to waste your time. You can see we are not wasting time. We are turning the truck through. I don't intend to waste your time. And I thank God that I came in contact with the pastors I came in contact with when I was growing up. I visited one of my friends in the U.S. Ah, you know, he had this room, this garage, big garage. And I like to go out, I like to pray because he was, we were staying in the same room. He, sometimes we leave his room, we go and stay in the city room because he wants to put on the heater because he was having a ballet. I said, look, I don't want too much heater. Just moderate room. So he would leave the room for me, being the guest and everything. So when I wake up, sometimes I don't like to pray in a place where I would disturb neighbors or disturb your Because some of you, that's all you do. Your volume of your prayer. Nobody can sleep. When you wake up in the morning, oh God! Yeah. So I don't want to disturb my, I didn't want to disturb him. So I will now walk to his garage. I enter his garage to pray. I have to go and wake him up. I can't pray in this your garage. You know what I saw there? I saw a bucket of water. I saw plantain. I saw cross. I saw white garment. I, I said, ah, what? What came over you? What came over
came over you. We used to walk in the light. How did you end up in this darkness? That you are now worshiping banana, unripe banana, water, white garment, cross, everything. When did you come to this darkness? That means if light is not service, light can turn to darkness. So, even coming this way this morning, maybe God sent me to service somebody's light. Hallelujah. So, let me quickly tell you what I call sources of light. If you want to have light, what are the sources of light? Let me just start with our, 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 our foundational scripture. Isaiah 60. Let's just read with that. I will, I will rush through today. I will just rush through all of them. Because I want, to, I want you to jot well. And then we go home. It says, Arise, shine. For what? For your light has come. And the glory of the Lord is over you. Say amen to that. Amen. Then, okay, it says, Behold, darkness shall cover the earth and deep darkness the people. But the Lord will arise over you and his glory will be seen upon you. Say amen to that. Amen. The gentle shall come to your light and king shall come to the brightness of your eyes. Say amen to that. Amen. Go to Matthew chapter 5, chapter 4, verse 16. Chapter 4, verse 16, sorry. 4, 16. Quickly, Matthew 4, 16. The people who sat what in darkness have seen what? A great light. It's your year of great light. Say amen to that. Amen. The people who sat in darkness have seen a great light. And upon those who sat in the region of shadow of death, light has done. Say amen to that. Amen. May any area in your life that is experiencing death, may light shine upon that area. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Any area of your life that is going down, that is dwindling, that you are struggling, I say may light shine on that area in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He says, arise, shine for your light has come because it takes light for a man to shine. Because ignorance kills. As the world becomes more challenging, you will dominate your environment by the light of God in you. Your talking will be different. Your expression will be different. Your mindset will be different. Everybody is wondering, why are you behaving the way you are? Because there's a different information on the inside of you. There's a hope inside of you because of the light. Glory be to God forevermore. So let me quickly tell you some sources of light. Let me tell you five sources of light. Today, for today, not all, but for today I will tell you five. And I will round up. Number one source of light is God. Right? The number one source of light is what? God. Psalm 27 verse 1. Let's read it together everybody. Psalm 27 verse 1. One, two, go. Read together. The Lord is my light. Stop. The number one source of your light is what? God. The Lord is my light. Go to Psalm 18, verse 28. You will do what? For the Lord will what? Will light my lamp. The Lord by God will what? Will enlighten what? My dark. I pray for you. If there's any darkness in any of your life, may the light of God shine in that area. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That's why the Bible says Psalm 34. Verses 4 and 5. They look unto him, they were lightened. And their faces were not ashamed. Because the Lord is our light. Brothers, let me talk to my sisters. Before I talk to brothers. Sisters, eh, you don't have any business marrying a man that has no God. You are getting yourself engaged into darkness. When things get dark in the house, how do you get direction? Who do you talk to? Even for us men, we run to challenges from time to time. Things confuse us. But when we want to have the answer, we go to God. God, what is going on here? Show me, guide me, lead me. He may not talk to you, but as we are reading the word of God, answer will come. Sometimes you come to church. As pastor is talking, answer will come. Because you ask God, God show me. God will use somebody somewhere, the book somewhere, to show you the light. Glory be to God forevermore. Raise up your right hand. Say to the Lord, you are my light. Say with all come. Say, Lord, you are my light. Hallelujah. And may the Lord be your light. 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Can I ask you a question? Is there somebody that God does not know? Is there a situation that God does not understand? If God knows all and understands all, why don't you ask him about everything? Even when they were trying to replace Judas in chapter 1 of Acts of Apostles, you know what they did? They said, oh you God, who knows the heart of all men, show us the one you have chosen. Before you make your next move, may God show you the heart of all men. Before you commit yourself to business with somebody, may God show you their heart. Before you sign that contract, may, you, may God show you the heart. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They say, oh God, you know the heart of all men. Show us. If God does not know, how will he show you? That's the number one source of light. The Lord is my light. Say amen to that. Amen. Number two. Because I want to finish the five and I'll rush. Number two. Light. Is the Lord Jesus Christ himself. For he is the light of the world. Bible calls him the light that shines in darkness. And darkness cannot comprehend. Glory be to God forevermore. For that reference, write John chapter 1 from verses 4 to 9. That's, why, well, that's when John said, I'm the one that was sent to be a witness of that light. This is the light that lights every man that comes to this world. And this is the light that shines in that, and darkness does not understand it. May the light of Jesus Christ shine in your heart in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This is my light. No, how does, look, go, 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 go to the book of John chapter 9 verse 5. John chapter 9 verse 5. John 9 5. Sorry, today I'm rushing. I, I sound like a Bible, Bible class today, right? Don't worry. Let us just be going like that. One, two, let's read it together. Everybody say, this is just talking. One, two, let's read it together. As long as I'm in the world, I am the light. Can we read it again? As long as I'm in the world, I am the light of the world. Say amen to that. Is the light of the world. How do you tap into the light of the world? How do you tap into the light of the world? John chapter 8 verse 12. How do you tap into that light? Because what is said in John chapter 9 verse 5 is a declaration. I am the light of the world. How do you tap into that light? John 8 12. Then Jesus spoke to them again saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness but shall have what? The light of life. Say amen to that. How do you enjoy the light of life? You follow him. You follow him. Follow. Let us do it together. Oh, you are, don't, don't let me trouble you. Don't let me trouble you. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. I thank God for your faith. Hallelujah. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it together. Hold on. I am the light. You are the one following me. Because if I ask you to do the light now, you may go and do what, you are not, what light doesn't do. Oh, yeah, come. Don't. You sit down. You come. My brother, come. God bless you. Oh, you remove your shoe already. Yeah. You are like a, a woman. That's what women do. They wear shoes, then they remove all the shoes in church. See, all the women here. Mommy has removed. Mommy here has removed. Auntie Faith has removed one leg. Everybody has removed. Let me see you. Yeah. Uh, Sister said has removed the shoe. All of you, they've removed it. The... You could clear your own. <laughs> she won't. I wish that be like this before. <laughs> That's what all of you do. Let's go. I don't blame you. We all grew up in where we didn't wear shoes. So, it's okay. She's ugly wearing her shoes. See? <laughs> oh, yeah, come, come. Do all of you come, 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 come. Oh, yeah, come. Spread out this way. Spread out. Spread out. Paulo, don't spread out. Too. Spread. I will punch you. <laughs> I'm, I'm pushing with your body like this. I, I cannot move anywhere. I'm standing the, on the rock. Okay. No, I didn't say. Face people, don't worry. Uh -huh. Just pray. Uh -huh. You here. Uh -huh. You there. It's okay. Praise God. I am the light of the world. He that follows me shall not walk in darkness. This is how you follow him. Let's say as we are going, right? Let's, let's call this lady offense. And she offended me. Follow the light of the world. Instead of me to give her punch, based on what she did, I begin to intercede for her. I say, my father, give my brother, give my sister light. And when I see her, I allow the love of God to overwhelm me. I don't hold bitterness against her. I am the first to go out of my way to greet her. And you know what she did to me. And you are expecting my reaction. I have shown you the light now. He that follows me 
shall not walk in darkness. So when you come against your own offense, you now know how to react. You are following me. Right? The Bible says we should walk in the steps. Glory be to God forever. And then I come against scarcity. 5,000 men to be fed. And we have very few resources. Five loaves and two fish. Oh, ah, we can't allow be this. God, if you know you cannot give me bread, why do you give me this so many people? Where will you feed them right now? He didn't do that. He collected the bread. He looked up. He gave thanks. And he said, from what we have, let us start from there. Yeah. And we'll see how God will do it. And he started and God multiplied it. Yeah. You have seen the light now. That when you come against darkness of scarcity, you know how to, how to attack it. Instead of complaining now, you know what to do. You are following he that follows me, we shall not walk what? In darkness. Glory be to God forever, man. Of all I've done for you, when your mother-in-law was sick, I came to heal you. Came to heal her. You are just an ordinary fisherman. Sometimes you will walk all night and catch nothing. I came one night, I changed your whole destiny. You caught so much, your, 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 your boat began to sink. One time, you, you, you shabolate. You wanted to walk on the sea. You began to sink. You call on me. I rescued you. You even betrayed me. You betrayed me. You betrayed me. You are supposed to go to hell. Sometimes it goes. You came against my destiny. You told me that I will not go, go, to, go on the cross. I had to rebuke you. And finally, you betrayed me. You said you, said you didn't know me. Ah, your hell will be special. <laughs> Jesus resurrected from there. He said, go and tell Peter also. Look for him. Encourage him. Establish him. He said, what is happening to you is not you. He said, Satan wanted to sift you, but I prayed for you. <laughs> now you have seen how to deal with that. You are not the first person to be betrayed. You have seen it. He that followeth me shall not walk what? In darkness. Do you get what we are trying to say right now? And in case the devil came against you to the point that they kill you, they put you down, but just know on the third day I'm coming back to life again. So your finances may be down, but you know I am coming back again. For the spirit of life in Christ Jesus will make this work in your life. Say amen to that. By following me, you have said how I was saying how I dealt with every situation. He that follows me shall not walk in darkness. But shall have what? The light of life. Glory be to God forevermore. Let's celebrate God, everybody. Hallelujah. You have seen how it works. So, some of you right now, all the problem you are having is because we are not following the light. My wife did something. So, what? If your wife did something, look, let me tell you something. Yeah? If your wife offended you very well, you know, because these women, they can be very offensive. <laughs> I'm just joking. Okay, let's go. <laughs> offended you very well. You know what you do, eh? You are a child of peace. De-escalate it. Okay. Thank you for that, for that lonely voice in the wilderness. I will give you sweet. Everybody looking at me because some of you, you don't have the peace of God in your heart. Jesus is called the Prince of Peace. Let this light of God follow him, brothers and sisters. This our salvation is not in mouth. Let the light of Jesus become a reality in you. Why, do, why, why is it that we come to church, we dance, we praise God, we sing, we do all those things, we give offerings, but when something in life happens, we just throw away Christianity and we never knew Christ. You will react worse than a non-believer. No, 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 no. Look, because of the way you are looking, that's why I'm talking like this. Why? Why is it that something will happen, you will, you, you, some of you will treat your wife with a second wife. You tell your wife that I will marry a second wife on top of you. With all our wickedness that we do in church every day, that, we, that our pastors commit, that I know. Has Jesus divorced the church? Are we still not his bride? Did he say I'm coming back to for you? Did he say I'm going to prepare a place for you? Has he reduced the quality of material you're using to build? Some of you, because your wife is something, I will withdraw your car. Why, how childish can we be? Don't look at me, oh. All you brothers, all you have is game. You don't have common sense. <laughs> ah, you'll be looking at me as if I, what, 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 what's, your, what's your problem? You think I'm here to tell you Instagram things? Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother. 
Not a boy. Not a boy. Someone should behave like a boy. It's a boy that said, you didn't, you didn't allow me to play with your, with your boy yesterday. Me too, I'm not allowing you to ride my bicycle. You're not allowing my bicycle. You are a boy. You are a boy. Men don't take account of wrongs. Men are true to who they are. They are not, they don't overreact to what you do. We throw away, we throw away our, 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 our Christianity as if nothing existed. Now some of you ladies, you are doubly wicked. No, to this not I mean, I'm not going to tell you, you know, if you are wicked. Don't you know, if voice is rising, let's, sometimes when my voice, my wife's white voice is rising, I will not pretend I'm a fool. So why, why, why do you, why? Said, ah. Amen. I just walk away. Don't, you don't need to. If you repeat that, repeat it. Just repeat that. Repeat that. You want, to, you want to beat who? What is wrong with you? How many times has Christ slapped the church? He doesn't know that we are bad people. Yet he provided a covering. You know why? Love covers multitude of sins. Why don't you follow? Why don't you call your wife for a meeting? Jesus, God told us, come, let us reason together. Can we talk over it? Can we reason about this thing? Instead of you bottling and bottling and then reacting, you now burst one like gas. You do them. May somebody learn wisdom here. Sorry, Paul. I told you not to follow me. You are the one that follow me. Um, <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm, ch- I'm warning all of you. Hmm? Please. All this crooked cracker cricket is enough. Where will you allow the peace of God to win in you? I have told you in this church, the more, the more matured is the first place to apologize. No, 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 no. Can you hear? Increase the volume. You didn't get that. The most matured is the first person to apologize, not the one that is wrong. That means he is the most humble, the most humble, the more humble one is the one that apologizes first. You know why? Because he wants peace. Let me ask you a question. Who brought out Lot? Wasn't Abraham? Who was called? Was it not Abraham? Who knew God? Was it not Abraham? Who believed God? Was it not Abraham? Who did God bless? Was it not Abraham? Bible said, Lord, I went also with him. Also God blessed. But when things began to go wrong, it was Abraham that made the move. So let us have peace here. Choose anywhere. I'm the one with the blessing, but it doesn't matter. Choose anywhere. Because peace must reign. Oh, no. Somebody hearing me right now. Let us follow him. Let us follow him. He that follows me will not walk in darkness, but shall have what? The light of life. Let me tell you one more. I'm going to close for today. I won't tell you fine. Because we are doing communion today. Look, go, go, go. God bless you. What, what, what are you? You are the one that betrayed me? Don't stay there. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hallelujah. Thank you, Paulo. Please, please clap for Edda Paul. Thank you so much. Where did you sit? Okay. That's how to follow him. You know, some of you, if you miss out on anything, miss out on anything, maybe there was a promotion in your office and you miss out. This is how you come to church. <laughs> what is uh, What are all those songs you sang? All those, yeah, yeah, Yoruba songs you are singing. Oh, Lord, you are mighty. You are mighty. Oh, you are mighty. Oh, you be, be, oh, you, oh, you got it, not in here anywhere, Jerry. Don't disturb my life. Don't disturb my life, Jerry. This is how you will sit, we infect, infect everywhere with, with all the. Do you know what happened? Do you know when Jesus fed the 5,000? Do you know when? It was the day after John the Baptist was killed. His cousin. They were cousins. They came to tell that he was killed. That's when he withdrew to the wilderness. Why was the wilderness? That's where the crowd came. And he fed them. Well, that's why I say, oh, God, no, no, you don't need, don't, let's send them away. You are not in a good mood. He said, no. Even in your pain, can you do good? Hey. Let us follow him. This life.
life is real. Let's follow him. Let's follow him. Let's follow him. Glory be to God forevermore. Hallelujah. Let me, I will tell you the other sources of light next week. Let me round up, let me, let me stop today. I will tell you the other source of light next week. But I want to just read one scripture and pray for you now. Glory be to God forevermore. Acts 16. Let's go home. Let's follow him. If it's the light, let us follow him. Let's follow him. Hallelujah. He said, I come on myself, do nothing. What I hear my father say, that's what I do. But these days, nobody prays again. You just calculate, okay, I'm a nurse. I learned that in the UK, if you are nursing, they pay 15 pounds an hour. Okay, if I do that, with, nobody will pray. I say, God, should I go, should I not go? Why don't you follow in his steps? He's, although he is God, he said, I do nothing without asking my father. Why are you doing many things without asking? Why? Some of you just said your wedding date. Bow. We are getting married before Easter. <laughs> ah, before Easter. I want to settle for Easter. Why don't you just ask? God, when do you want us to marry? Sit properly. Properly, uh, like, a, like a child of God. Like somebody that's following Christ. I know I've said a lot of hard things today. The thing tired again. <laughs> I'm serious. The thing tired. I'm this. She, she look at her like she, she just like this. <laughs> I don't know where they follow Christ. <laughs> the thing tired. I'm. <laughs> Several bullets don't hit them. It's not deliberate, my sister. Nobody say I know you. I just they talk generally. <laughs> Hallelujah. Like that. But was he? crossover service, when I was saying something that some of you, you are staying, a boy that brought you to this church, is not your you, you, you came from a man's house this night yes, my people uh, my sister, you don't know the, <laughs> leave this thing alone, Jerry uh, uh, I've been the pastor all my life I'm pastor, that's the only thing I know how to do, pastor there's no kind of person I've not met before no, not, nobody I've not met before in this church, one day, let me tell you a story. Because when I start telling story, that means I don't tire. <laughs> there is a particular sister in this church when we are still in Mitama, La Sally. She said, me, say, Pastor T, thank God I'm married. She looked at me and said, I rejoice with you. Let me see the picture of your husband. She sent me the picture of the husband. The husband is the husband of another member of this church. Uh, she, what, what is, hey, are you the one that married somebody else, man? I'm telling you a story that I know. You are saying, hey, just love us. Just love us. <laughs> Leave my seat, oh. Leave my seat. I'm telling you. The husband of another sister in this church. Not, look, not the boyfriend of another sister. The husband. H U S. R B D A N D horse band. Don't go and write that in jam. You won't pass your exam. Well. Just told you now. Hallelujah. What is wrong with you? Where is Christ in all these things? Why are we behaving like this? Why? If you see two people fighting, it's either one is not following Christ or both of them are not following Christ. Why must you win? Why must you win? If not for your ego and pride, why must you win? So what do you prefer? To win the battle and lose the person. Let me tell you. Hmm? Let me tell you. Every new thing is sweet. When you start a new relationship, it's very sweet. Very soon, you see be tearing each other down. Because it was the same you that left that one. The same you that came to this one. Nothing has changed. 
you better, you better plan your life well and figure out how you want to live. What did I talk before? What scripture did I tell you again? That means you still remember. I thought you would forget. So the meeting will tell you so I forget. All of us will close. You remember? Acts 16. Mm. Hallelujah. So you can carry the chair now. Don't worry. No, you, are, you are a lady. Let me carry it for you. Let me show you how they treat a lady. Are you here? <laughs> See all these unbeliever decay and decadences. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Verse 7, verse 7, verse 7. Let's close, let's close, let's close. Let's go home. Hallelujah. Let's close. I will tell you the other sources. Thank you, Pastor DJ. You look nice. Blue suit new looks nice on any man. Uh, if you don't know how to wear, so start with blue suit. Uh, black suit is not where to start. If you ever work in the bank, so they can take you serious. Uh, but any want to really start with suit, start with the blue suit. Blue suit will work for any man anywhere. Even if your head is like tumbler, wear blue suit. <laughs> the blue suit will take attention away from your sides of your head. Anyway, <laughs> please, oh, I've started again. Please, look, delete that. I didn't say that. Delete it. Delete it. This is Paul trying to find direction. This is Paul trying to find direction. And when they had come to Messiah, they tried to go into Bithynia, but the Spirit did not permit them. So, passing by Messiah, they came to Troas. And a vision appeared to Paul in the night. And a man of Macedonia stood and pleaded with him, saying, Come over to Macedonia and what? And help us. Now, after we have seen the vision, immediately we sought to go into Macedonia. Look at this. Concluding that the Lord has called us to preach the gospel to them. I want to pray for you. That as you decide to go here, and you cannot seem to have a legway, I want to go here, you can't seem to have a leeway. You want to go here, it seems as if things are not working. May the Lord show you in the night season. May as you come to church, may the Lord direct you. It wasn't as if, no, he has told them to go and preach the gospel to all the world, right? But there's a particular place God wants to preach to and tell. Do you know, one day, I will tell you the benefit of preaching in Macedonia. There are about five of them, but not today. Because that church, Macedonia, they are the one that sponsored this ministry from the beginning to the end. Sponsored from the beginning to the end. So there are things that God wants you to do at a particular time. If you go and follow your initiative, you will be okay, oh. But you have missed out on the eternal plan. So this one I want to pray for you today. That your next step will be in the will of God. Amen. I pray for everybody here today. I declare by your life that in the name of Jesus, 2024 will be for you. A year of light. Every step you take shall be a step in the right direction. You will not be confused though. The power of light will rest upon you. Every move you make will be a move in the right direction. In the name of Jesus Christ. I rebuke darkness. I rebuke confusion. In the name of Jesus Christ. We were in church on Friday, this past Friday. I said somebody came to church this morning or this evening. You have prayed and God told you to go into farming. And then you said it on Friday. Glory be to God forevermore. This is what I'm believing God for you to this year. That your efforts will not be wasted. You will not play trial and error with your life anymore. You will take sure steps. Light of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every plan of the devil to defraud you, to waste your time, to delay you, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ. I command the light of God to rest over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
I pray for you that every confirmation you need, the Lord will give it to you. In the name of Jesus, I declare healing over your hand. I command healing. Not too far from now, you will call me to testify that this was supposed to take three weeks. The Lord has done it in three days. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Father, I give you praise, Lord. Direction. In the name of Jesus Christ. Clear call direction. Clear call direction. In the name of Jesus Christ. Balak was on his way to go and curse the children of God. And Bible said the donkey that was riding refused to move carried him somewhere and rubbed his leg against the wall. Why was the donkey, why did the donkey refuse to move? The Bible said the donkey saw an angel with a sword that if you go for that, I will kill you. Because the donkey was trying to avoid death for his master, he went and he refused to move. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Whatever you are riding, I will take you to, to, in the wrong direction. That thing will refuse to move in the name of Jesus. Whatever you are riding on, whatever donkey you are riding on, you, you call it a relationship, you call it a job, you call it a career, you call it a calling, whatever thing you are riding on that is taking you in the wrong direction. I say in the name of Jesus, from today, that thing will refuse to move in the name of Jesus Christ. You know what the donkey knew? The donkey knew that nobody can win a war against God. There is no need to go and confront God in this journey. The man refused to. Until God opened the eyes of the prophet himself and he saw. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. It's your year of light. It's your year of light. You will hear a voice behind you. You will hear a voice in you. Saying this is the way to go. Walk in it. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I speak the peace of God. 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 I speak the peace of God over every household, over every family, in the name of Jesus Christ. Over your life, over your career, over your health, over your finances. I speak the peace of God, shalom of God. Let that be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There is somebody on the sound of my voice here. They've told you in your office already that it's going to be a turbulent year. That some people will be relieved. And you are wondering, will it be me? And it will not be you. And you are wondering, by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, I put you on the exemption list. You will leave that office when you are ready to go. No man will push you out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Psalm 41, verse 11. Psalm 41, 11. As we round up today. 41, 11. Hey! Give me King James Version. I like, I like the word favor. I like that word. Give me King James Version. Aha! By this I know that you have what? Favored me. That favors me. How? Because my enemy warlord does not triumph over me. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. That's my last prayer for today. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. May the favor of God speak for you. The enemy will not triumph over you. Everyone waiting to laugh at you. We deny them that opportunity. I hear in my spirit from glory to glory. From glory to glory. From glory to glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. The enemy will not triumph over you. The enemy will not triumph over your family. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. By this I know you have favored me. And the truth is this. We have been favored in Christ. We have been accepted what? In the beloved. We have been favored. And because we have been favored, I decree that the enemy will not triumph over you. Uh, I don't care how far they have gone. 
anywhere they meet, they went anywhere they go, they will meet God in the name of Jesus. I repeat it again, like I declare on, on Wednesday. I say, anywhere they go, they will meet God there in the name of Jesus Christ. Hey, they say, Balaam, come and cause, come, 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 say, Balaam, come and cause, come and cause the people of God. Every time he prayed, God will show up. God will tell him, don't cause, don't do this. It, it was God the way he met God. Every which way he turned, he met God. And he met God over four or five times. When he finally refused, you know what happened? God slid. Get God keep Balaam. God will give them opportunity. They cannot harm you for repentance, but they are good. And I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Anywhere they turn to, anywhere they turn to, may they meet God. May they meet God in the name of Jesus Christ. May the favor of God speak over you. For the Lord God is a son and a sheet. May his favor protect you in the name of Jesus Christ. May his favor act as a sheet around you in the name of Jesus Christ. For thou, O Lord, will bless the righteous. With favor, you compass him like a sheet. May the favor of God compass you like a sheet. In the name of Jesus Christ. For favor is a defense. May the favor of God defend you. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said, by this I know that you favored me. He didn't say, by this I know that I've done well. Victory is not a sign of good behavior. It's a sign of favor of God. It's a sign of favor of God. And so today we thank you. We will leave this place today. We leave this place today with the spirit of victory. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for your favor. We will not allow the enemy to triumph over us. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for your great light. We give you praise and we honor your holy name. Thank you. We give you praise, Lord. Our steps are ordered. We walk in the set of God's way for our lives. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Let's celebrate God, everybody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God forevermore. You may be seated. You have somebody, you have been praying about something, asking God for direction. God will show you clear code direction. God will guide you clearly. You will look back and you see that God has been guiding you all this while. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God will guide you. You'll be in the center of God's will. Don't worry yourself. Just, just trust his love for you. Hallelujah. Trust his love for you. Glory be to God. All eyes closed. All heads bowed just for three minutes. Maybe somebody invited you to church this morning. But you don't still know Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. Maybe you have not been to church for a long time. You backslided. Something happened. You, are, you don't feel like coming to church again. But you came this morning. Or you have been hearing the gospel preached, but you have never really accepted Jesus Christ. Or maybe you accepted, but something happened and you stopped being fervent. Your fire will be restored this morning. The Holy Ghost will come over your life afresh today. And in case you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior, this is your time to know. This is time to secure your eternal destiny. Somebody says, hey, Pastor T, what is, no, no, even for the joke, that maybe this is not true. Okay, say, so God, in case it's not true, I want you to prove to me whether it's true or not. I want to give my life to you. Just, it says, taste and see that the Lord is good. So I challenge you this morning. Anywhere you are in this auditorium, it's time for you to respond to the Lord Jesus Christ. Please, if you belong to any of those categories, the Bible says there's no other name given among, among me whereby I'm saved apart from the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, We, knowing the severity of God, we persuade men. For it's better to be a doorkeeper in the house of God than to have your portion with the workers of iniquity. So I challenge you today. Don't bother yourself. Say, I know some Christians in my neighborhood, they don't behave well. I know there are some Christians in my office, they don't behave well. They are even the worst people. They are not your example. Christ is your example. Save yourself. Forget about them. So this morning, you want to give your life to Christ or you want to renew your relationship with Christ. Can I see your hand? All eyes closed, all head bowed. Can I see your hand? Our ushers, are, our, our counselors are going to pray for you. Please raise up your hand. 
please, anywhere, everywhere in this world, God bless. I can see some hands at the back there. I can see some, another hand at the very back. There. I can see two hands at the, at the back there. Please raise them properly so that our, our counselor can go to you. But, uh, but, but I'm about to look ahead of you. Lord, look straight. You can see two hands there. See another hand here. God bless you. Another hand at my extreme left here. Two hands right there. Thank you. Maurice, attend to them. Tell them to follow you. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you, my sister. Raise up your hand. Thank you. Thank you. God, raise up your hand. Please take them to the prayer room. Lead them to Christ. Pray for them. Let them be baptized in the Holy Ghost today. If you don't know how to do it, call me. I will come. I want all of them to be baptized with the Holy Spirit, with the evidence of speaking in tongues today. All of them. Pastor White, go and attend to them. Every one of them will speak in tongues today. It's a great advice. God bless you, my sister. God bless you. God bless you, my brother. You, they must speak. If you want to speak in tongues, join them. That's how to get the fire of God back to your life. For Christian life is not an ordinary life. It's a spiritual life. If you don't speak in tongues, join them. Join them. I will come and join them too. Left after, after this, I'm coming there. God bless you, my sister. God bless you, my brother. It's time to work. It's time to take, take the things of God serious this year. God bless you, my sister. My brother, God bless you. I can see you walking down there. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Is there any other person left in the hall? We wait for you. God bless you, my sister. God bless you. Hallelujah. Any other person we waiting for? We wait for you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lead them to the prayer room. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Father, we give you praise. We honor your holy name. Thank you for these precious souls. We give you praise, Lord. For those who need salvation, for those who need reconciliation, for those who need fire of the Holy Spirit, we thank you for every one of them. Thank you for meeting everyone at the point of need in the mighty name of Jesus. Are you happy you came to church this morning? Let's celebrate God, everybody. Hallelujah. Are you happy for those souls? You can celebrate God more than that. You can celebrate God more than that. That celebration is too weak. It's too weak. Let us show God we are grateful. Let us show God we are not taking his goodness for granted. Let us show God we are not taking those souls for granted. We are grateful. Hallelujah. Glory be to God forevermore. Hallelujah. We have our, please be seated. We have our communion service immediately after, uh, uh, before the service closes. That's how our deacons are dressed. The way they are dressed, they're going to be serving us communion. Make sure you partake of the communion. It's a great way to start the year. We have our communion every first Sunday of the month. Anchored by the uh, Dickens and Dickness board. So, uh, some of you will never, some of you don't come for midweek service. So, you miss out of communion throughout the year. So, we have come to meet you out of love where you are. <laughs> Glory be to God forevermore. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, let's package our offerings as we close. Who, Father, will give you praise? Hallelujah. Ushers, please help us quickly. All the generals that were promoted, we celebrate with every one of you. We celebrate with every one of you. One of them is doing Thanksgiving this morning because he's not sure about, the, about their posting, that they might be posted out very soon. You know, so he said before he's posted out, probably this week, let him do his Thanksgiving before he's posted out. Can't they post some of the generals to church? No, uh, they are not here official. official I want them to come officially. So that there are some people I want to deal with. I will just point at you and say, this one. Deal with him. This one. <laughs> because they are here officially. <laughs> I was doing a project. Or I'm still doing the project somewhere. And uh, these guys, for one month, they were tiny. They were tiny. <laughs> I will appeal to them. I will talk to them. They were just slow. So I said, no problem. I went, I called somebody, one of our staff, to go to Apple Police Station. 
So we arranged for them. So we got to site. I didn't talk that day because normally I talk. I will talk with them. I didn't talk. I just said that one. <laughs> and this one. If they are on this, that was a Wednesday. I didn't prepare for service. I, I just went. I said, by tomorrow, if they are here, they will celebrate Christmas in Tissension. This one and this one. They finished the work the following day. They finished time, everything from that Wednesday afternoon to Sunday evening. They finished. When it was five o'clock, around six, sorry, by six, when they saw my car, they escaped through the window, all of them. <laughs> because what they knew about me before was pastor. They didn't know I was a soldier. So when I showed up, I said this one and this one. I didn't talk. This, just two, pointed to two of them. Very specific. I said, you have, tomorrow evening is your last day here. And I gave another one, Friday. The one that was doing burglary work. They all finished. The burglary work finished, he carried his machine and left. He finished all. So maybe I need to bring police for some of you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Isha, oh yeah, pray over the offering today. Come and pray. So I caught you on our ears. No, now. You see her. No, wait. That's not what I meant. You cannot collect a microphone from me like that. I'm not your husband. You will do like this. Uh -huh. Good morning, church. Happy New Year to each and every one of you. Okay. So if you've got your offering, please hold it up. Let's pray over our offering. And if you've got your tithe as well, if you've brought your tithe to the house of the Lord, please hold it high. Let's pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you for another opportunity to bring seed into your house. We thank you, Father God, because it is you that gives seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So we thank you for this opportunity. Father, as we bring our seed and our tithe this morning, we thank you, Father God, for the blood of Jesus that has covered it. We thank you for multiplica multiplication of the seed that we're about to sow in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God. I pray for each and every one of um, our members here this morning who has brought their tithe. We thank you, Father God, because we know that the devourer will be, um, that the devil Sorry, that the sorry, that the devourer will 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 not be able to get their hands on this tithe in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Father God, because we know that you're able to multiply the seed sown here this morning in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father God, because this is the least that we will ever be in the mighty name of Jesus. From now on, the graph of our finances goes up in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We cover our tithe and our offering with the blood of Jesus. As I said before, this is the least we will ever be. We thank you, Father God, because this has been declared our year of great light. But also, we will be financially prosperous this year in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God, as we sow our seed this morning. We give you glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. darkness at the sight of light ever paraded at a glimpse of light 
You're the light that makes my face shine bright. As I behold your face, I become the light. Where's darkness at the sight of light? Hey, evaporated at the glimpse of light. Hey, you're the light that makes my face. I behold your face, but I become the light. everybody hallelujah we are about to, we're going to take our communion right now please they have a little video they want to show so that you can see how to you are going to how to open the communion element is that one that comes together so please kill the video and show it please look on the screen Hallelujah. Thank you for instructing us in the way of righteousness. Before, the, before you showed that video, I used to think I used to have to make hole at the number one and drain it. Well, thank you for showing us. Now you have educated a bushman from Akoko somewhere. Thank you. So, can we start the communion, please? You guys look good. 
Dickiness Boomer. They were clapping for you from that side. That's why they were clapping. Don't mind them. And Dickiness Kemi. And who is that? I can't see her. Oh, Dickiness Bola. Hmm. Hallelujah. You step uh -uh. down into the Dickness Amaka. Amaka special. Let me see. Beauty that makes this heart adore Hope for a life spent with you. So here I
Go back to verse 23, please. We are starting from verse 23. Go to verse 23. For I received from the Lord that which I will deliver to you. That the Lord Jesus on the same night which he was betrayed took bread. And when, they had, <coughs> and when they had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take it. This is my body which is broken for you. This do, or do this, in remembrance of me. Lord Jesus, we are gathered here to remember what you did for us. The night you were betrayed, you were beaten, you were spat upon, your clothes were torn, they left you naked, they put a crown of thorns on your head just for us. By your broken body, we receive healing this morning. By your thorns of by your crown of thorns, we receive crown of glory this morning. You became poor. You were reduced to nothing that you might become rich. And so we, be, we receive riches this morning. Amen. By the power of this communion. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We receive vitality, Amen. strength, Amen. zest, Amen. health and healing, Amen. and longevity. By the reason of your broken body. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen. You may eat everybody. Verse 25 says, In the same manner, I also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood. Hallelujah. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Amen. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, Amen. you proclaim the lost death. Till he comes. Lord Jesus, we approach your table again this morning reverently, reverently, with joy and with great expectation. We thank you for the blood that was shed, the cup of blessing, the blood that ratified a better covenant based upon better promises, the blood that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. And they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Amen. And so we thank you for the spirit of victory Amen. in the blood today. Amen. Thank you thank for purging our conscience from dead works. For all our sins are forgiven Amen. by the power of your blood. Amen. And we say nothing is working against us. Yes. Because every ordinance written against us is hereby demolished Amen. and totally erased Amen. by the power in the blood. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We we'll receive this blood with thanksgiving, Amen. with great expectation, Hallelujah. and with faith in our heart. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. You may drink, everybody. Oh, Father, we give you praise in the mighty name of Jesus. Please may be seated. Keep your communion elements on your way out. Is that, I think, on your way out? Or. You want to collect them back? Me, I think on your way out, just dispose, hold them. On your way out, dispose them. It's easier. We don't have to. We are not collecting cups. It's not. It's disposable. Hold it. We don't need it. It's one-time use. But you can take it home. You can take this one home. <laughs> this is exactly the one you need for your house. That I hey, it's mommy. You see how you're very neat. Hey, hey. Now take it home and be drinking communion. Which you can be drinking communion three times. It's your cup. Now you can go with this one. But the one we use on Wednesday, no, you can't take it to This one you can't take it to. The dickiness bought it for you. <laughs> Glory be to God forevermore. Okay. We can close now. But um, yeah, uh, General. Please. Okay, we have two announcements, right? 
We have we started our Bible reading again this year, right? Please, we start from Matthew. That's we start from Brother Matthew. <laughs> Among by men, chapter one to <laughs> Okay, so we start from Book of Matthew, chapter one tomorrow. Is that all right? Chapter one. Every day we read the chapter. We let you know when we move to the next book. Glory be to God forevermore. Hallelujah. And then okay, a couple of my books are the foyer. Buy them and read them for the year. Just buy a couple of books for yourself. It's going to be a blessing to you. Hallelujah. So, um, please, we, we are doing Thanksgiving. It's uh, the general bear for a special time so that it can go for its posting. So, please, be with us. Be, be with us. We will be closing in the next seven minutes or thereabout. So, please, generals, that want to do Thanksgiving, come forward. Let's do it quickly and let's be on our way. Do it in a general-like manner. March forward. General Atahiru, where are you? Congratulations. Okay, go to that side and, and sing from that side. Like that. Yeah. Dance. Okay. So. <laughs> okay. General Nanchi. <laughs> Women like this thing. When they husband general, their work will change. They'll be trusting other people. Wife of generous. Hey, 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 my God is good. Oh. Hey, 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 my God is good. Oh. Hey, 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 my God is good. Oh. Praise God. Congratulations to you. Uh, we thank God who has brought you this far. And by extension to everybody uh, who has been promoted, who came to thank God. And for those of you, especially your promotion, the same grace will reach out to every one of you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Please, can I have the other microphone? Is there? Okay, please. Okay. That's major... Um, is it Major General? Brigadier General. Brigadier General. Uh, hallelujah. 
Joseph Atahiru. Please, you have the, you have the floor. Thank you. Uh, good morning, church. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, indeed, today is a very great day. I thank God for this opportunity to come to this great house to felicitate with each and every one of you over what God has done for me, my family. Hallelujah. Uh, indeed, it has been challenging, but uh, because of the good God we serve, we have surmounted every situation. Hallelujah. First, I was struck down by my stroke. You can see me, I've surmounted it. The Praise devil God. wanted to come into my home and steal the joy in my home, but as a family, we surmounted it. Hallelujah. I found myself in the National Institute. I have my deputy monitor general here, what, Ambassador Luther. Uh, she knows, and my other colleagues here, she knows the rudiments there. I got there. Uh, first, the first week, they were like, okay, if you have an ailment or something before, because a lot of people come and die during the course of the studies. In fact, some die a day before graduation. So they were like, okay, if you have any condition, let us know. I mean, out of integrity, because that's what I'm being taught as a military man, my integrity. I said, yes, I had mild stroke, but however, I'm treating BP problem like any other person here. They wanted to use that against me and kick me out of the school. But God stood by me. Hallelujah! In the course of the, the training, uh, we were supposed to go for an international tour in August, but you know, it kept, they kept changing date, and somehow the date for the tour came in in December, and it's just like a week before my promotion interview. The struggle to, on how to get to travel and come back and meet up with my promotion interview came up. But however, due to the good God that we serve and other people that are uh, all around me, I was able to go there and come back two days before my promotion interview and I did my interview and it came out well. Praise God. Praise and God. my graduation came, I came out as a member of National Institute of Policy and Strategic Studies. And the following week, I was decorated as a Brigadier General. Praise God. So it is double, double, double blessed. Uh, I want to use this medium to say that um, it's not easy to be uh, married to, to the ladies, to, to be married to a military man. It's, it takes a strong-hearted woman, a woman filled with God's love and engulfed with God's presence. Because honestly, we have seen it all. But my wife stood by me. The church stood by her. My family member stood by her. She saw, in fact, I think she's the one fighting the battle for me. Because if my home front is not good, I'm not good anywhere I find myself. But she stood by me. We surmounted every situation together. Up Nancy, up Nancy, and we're up here Nancy. today. <laughs> Nandi, I thank you so very much. Yeah. You're awesome. I bless God for your life. Oh, and awesome, Nancy. <laughs> and I bless God for. <laughs> I bless God for my kids, my mother-in-law, my brothers and sisters. Pastor T, you're awesome. The church, Neka, Jasper, Charlie. So many people to call their names here. I really appreciate you all. Thank you, and God bless. Amen. Amen. God bless you too. And all the people promoted. Where is uh, General, um, Major General Arogundade? Okay. You want to, please give General Arogundade just two, two minutes. Then we, it's not easy. Yeah, Major General Rafa. I have some people that I want to show you after service. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, I just want to appreciate God for his faithfulness. Amen. It's, it has been by the grace of God. Yeah. The Bible says nothing that will it, nothing that run it. Of God that showed mercy. Hallelujah. It has been by his grace. Yeah. It 
That's by his grace. Mm. And I want to give all the glory to God. Hallelujah. That has seen me through Amen. from cadet training days up to this day. Mm. This is glory that today I'm a major general in the Nigerian Army. Amen. All glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Congratulations. Hallelujah. So today is going to be a military day. So I'm going to call on retired um, uh, Air Vice Marshal AVM Dilimono, retired, to pray for the serving ones. He finished as AVM. He finished finish well. With honors. So, somebody has gone through this path before. I am a pastor. I'm not a military general. Let a general pray for you. It takes God to answer the prayer of a general for a general. Yes. Hallelujah. So, let your Godfather pray for the Godson. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, sir. Blessed are you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory, honor, power, majesty be ascribed unto you. Amen. Thou art infinite in power, in might, in strength, absolute in faithfulness. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. It is because of you we, we see this day. And for this, we are grateful. Amen. We are here to celebrate because you've allowed it. Hallelujah. You've done us good things. Amen. You've done us well as a church. You've done this family well. Yes. To you alone be all the glory. Amen. It shall continue to be well with them. Amen. Amen. Because you are on the throne. Yes, Lord. May these men and women surrender their bodies to you. Amen. May their bodies be your sanctuary. Amen. May they hear you every step of the way. Amen. Father, even as they have understood the military language, uh -huh. may they understand your language. Amen. May they speak your language. Amen. May they think your thoughts. Amen. And even as they respond to orders, may they submit to your bidding. Amen. And do your bidding, so yes, God. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let us continue to hear good news concerning them. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. As they yes, go from one assignment to the other. Yes. Even as it was with your disciples when they preached the word. Amen. Herod. Yes. Heard your name. Amen. Father, wherever they go, whatever they do, may Christ be heard. Yeah, yeah. May Christ be seen, O oh God. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. They will treat their families well. Yeah. And the families will give glory to your name. Amen. Thank you, Almighty God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Almighty God. Yes, Lord. Let them do be just and fair in whatever they, they do. do. Amen. Amen. So that the soldiers of God will see Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. To you be all the glory. Yes, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I will dedicate your new ranks to the glory of God, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. To the glory of God once again, to the benefit of humanity, humanity and your family, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Congratulations. God bless every one of you. Every one of you respecting good, good things, we we'll use them as a point of contact. Your good news will also come. In the mighty name of Jesus. So, we have come to the end of the service. Please, if you want to drop an offering, drop an offering. Hallelujah. Dickens and Dicknesses, we are so grateful. God bless every one of you. Thank you. We celebrate you. Made it today colorful. God bless you. Hallelujah. I dwell in the secret place. Most, oh, that, what, am I missing out something? Okay. Oh, okay. Sorry. We, we came with a gift. We came with gifts for every first timer in the house. We came with a pack of drinks, a pack of CD. Jot us for you. So, if you are a first timer in the house, could you please take your Bible and your bags and move to the to the to the to your right hand side? Please, if you came to your church, if this is your first time in church, you are a first timer. We came with a gift for you. Please take your Bible and your bag and move towards that side of the hall. Please, where you have the, the Christmas lights, go towards that side. Whatever you came to church with, God bless you. I can see a lot of people making their way there. God bless you. Clap for them as they make their way there. God bless you.
Why they do that, we declare, I dwell in the secret place of the Most High, I abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I say of the Lord, you are my refuge and my fortress, my God in you I trust. Surely you deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. You cover me with your feathers and under your wings I take refuge. Your truth is my shield and buckler. I am not afraid of the terrors by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at my side and ten thousand at my right hand, but you shall not come near me. Only with my eyes shall I look and see the reward of the wicked, because I have made the Lord who is my refuge. Even the most high my dwelling place. No evil shall befall me, nor shall any plague come near my dwelling. For you have given your angels charge over me to keep me in all my ways. In their hands they bear me up, lest I dash my foot against a stone. I tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent I trample underfoot. Because I have set my love upon you, therefore you deliver me and you set me on high. Because I have known your name. I call upon you and you answer me. You are with me in trouble. You deliver me and you honor me. With long life you satisfy me and you show me your salvation in Jesus' name. The prayers continue on Wednesday. Is that all right? Please, we continue our prayer on Wednesday. Let's meet, make sure you are in the house on Wednesday. It's not you. We are going to take time to pray this year a lot. Please, so the prayers continue on Wednesday. Hallelujah. So, God has made all grace and earthly favor abound towards us. Therefore, we have all sufficiency in all things and excess for earth. And we declare there is a mighty supply for us now. We have rest, restoration, and supernatural experiences on every side. Our incomes multiply. We enjoy its increase, divine difference, multiple celebrations, brain, and this is our year of great life. God bless you. See you on Wednesday.